So your money's on Chevron as oh, of this morning. Oh, no, no. Um, I am going to take bets right now, right here, that Vicki Hall does not get this property. Okay. And because the reason she, is why? Because Chevron is like Fort Knox. I mean, Chevron is a very well-run company with a very good balance sheet. Oxy has some debt. Chevron has some debt. But Chevron can just, you know, Chevron can wake up and say, you know what? Let's just pay 100 Let's just end this. Well, they're not going to do that. Until no, but they're you know what I mean. But you your point is, there's only 500 million shares out. So even it's 10 a bucks a share is only another $5 billion to them. By the way, though, what I don't know at this point is their willingness to go up at all. I mean, it may be it's just not as oh, important no, to them, David, they Jim, want it. as it is it, important it's really to important. Well, it's, it's very important to Chevron. Well, he came on and he said it was very important Important to enough to pay more because eventually they may be forced to. Now, that's down the road. You know, if you were Anadarko and you were concerned about Occidental's ability to get a shareholder right. vote, you may want to wait until they actually can show you they're going to be able to get that vote before you really consider certainly terminating a Chevron deal. Well, look, I mean, Anadarko used to be much higher. So it's not like they're sitting there and paying, uh, you know, absurd uh, prices. Anadarko had a couple really bad quarters. Now, one of the reasons why I like with Vicky, Vicky's a great operator. And I think that Mike's a good operator, but Vicky is a great Permian operator. So I totally get it. You know, for instance, she can't necessarily do Pioneer. Why? Because Pioneer's really well run. Right. So she can't make it better. That's the key here, right? They think they can really they, make that this thing has not been particularly well right. run. Right. But I mean, they made this point about drilling 4% 4 of the wells in the Permian, but getting 23 of the 100 top performing wells uh, to the yeah. point that their technology right. and their ability to operate it properly uh, is better. My, my chapel trust owns it. When the number came out, which I ones? Said, uh, uh, Anadarko. Anadarko. When the number came out, I said, all right, well, this is what's the real number? I mean, it can't be this bad. Just give me the real number. You know, oil companies report numbers. Well, give me the number that backs, you know, that backs in what was wrong and give me the one time only and, you know, take out what was said. And no, Jim, the number's still really bad. I said, but Anadarko, this isn't Apache. This isn't Simrex, for heaven's sake. But um, Anadarko's really bad. And then it also, you know, they had this Colorado initiative and Colorado was going to vote no drill. And it, after the, the oil companies won, the stock barely went up. Uh, meantime, Apache and Pioneer up almost 2% pre-market here. Apache's so. very gassy. Turned out that Ann Darko's a little gassy. By the <laughs> way, when something's gassy, it's the equivalent of when a human is gassy. It's really? Like, that's just, not what we want. No, it's not. We want gas X. We do. We prefer less gas. Right. And that's why, you, you know, Ann Darko's got, by the way, Ann Darko, are you talking about Mozambique? Uh, well, she talks about it, the, it's really only 15%, and there's been so much focus on it, but... But That's Worth, not where the focus should be. 75% is the Permian. Worth thinks it's going to be very big, and Worth likes to tell you about how he's in places that you wouldn't normally go. He's comfortable with uh, the gorillas who are not the gorillas. It's, you know, gorillas. Gorillas. Beautiful gorillas. Beautiful gorillas. Well, the, no, not the, beautiful gorillas. Beautiful I'm talking gorillas. about terrorists. Oh, you're talking G U E R. <laughs> Not G right, O not the, R. Not the, no, none of that. Not that. That's no. Jane, what are you, Jane, I guess that's not Mozambique. What are you, Jane Goodall? She's a wonderful lady. She's a CEO she is. of She's a wonderful lady. Jane Amazing Goodall. person. Don't way. bring Jane yeah. into this. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, let's keep an eye on Occidental's what? share price. Because if, it, if it's able to maintain a loss of only 4% or something along those lines, that is far better than they even had, I would uh, uh, argue, anticipated. You and that will argue against Anadarko saying we have no sense that your share price is going to be able to hold up. You don't think the shareholders are furious right now? Which going shareholders? Up Occidental. About what? That their stock's going to keep going lower. About what? Jane Goodall, look at this. What are you, I, born I, free? I, Who is that? I don't, I, 4% is not bad. Born free, as free this as Occidental goes down. This is the first opportunity they're going to have to really talk to their shareholder base, at least try and Did explain you like everything to smart, them. smart, man. Paul is smart. Take a lot of people by you surprise. you got to be tough to do something like this. You sure do. This is a gutsy move. It is. And plus Especially because, as you said, it's fail. probably not going to work. Gutsy move that fails. But that's okay. Yep. I mean, dare to be great, right? you got to dare to be great.